was going to run out that door, find a new doctor. I felt a sense of obligation to stay and help make my doctor funny. Now whenever I go to the doctor, I have doctor jokes for him. Can I share one of my favorite doctor jokes with you guys? Yeah. The classic doctor joke, is that okay with you guys? Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's about a midget who goes to the doctor. He walks in, he says to the doctor, doctor, I have a terrible pain in my crotch, can you help me? The doctor says, absolutely, drop your pants, bend over, let me have a look. The doctor's looking, he says, one second. Takes a pair of scissors, he puts it in the midget's crotch, and he goes, snip, snip. Tells him to stand up, walk around, tell him how it feels. He starts to walk around, he goes, doctor, that feels great, what did you do? And the doctor said, well, I cut off the top of your cowboy boots. <laughs> than this side of the room. <laughs> now I'm breaking a sweat. This is good for me. This is the most exercise I'm getting today. We have people who go to the gym and work out. The gym people, by applause. Yes. God bless the gym people. My friends told me I want to get a good workout, go to the gym, do the Stairmaster for an hour. I didn't know what the Stairmaster was. I went to the gym, I watched, I observed, I compromised. I went out to the mall, there was the escalator for a week. <laughs> I was exhausted. My wife just hired me a personal private trainer. Shows up at my house every morning at six o'clock. My wife pays him $500 a month for that. I got him on the phone, I offered him 600 to not show up. <laughs>